This is Mel with Florensics. Want to discuss some of the activity that we had come through a few weeks ago in ticker Unity. Today we did have the Apple event, but I think the clear star was definitely ticker U off of the mention at the Apple conference. A few weeks back, we did have larger positioning come through. This was a multi-leg. This is a spread. This is called a bullish risk reversal. They came in and opened the 616 $30 calls with 3.17 million. And at the same time, wrote the 616 $30 puts. That allows them to collect premium that was with 2.72 million. And why this stuck out so much was first off, you haven't really had that kind of positioning in ticker U. Um, and it was also not ER positioning. You'll tend to see a lot of the bigger size come through around an ER event, but this one had already reported earnings. And so it was clean flow, kind of shorter dated when you look at the timing that it came in, the 518 um, and positioning with size into June. And while this was a really good example and you, you had that size and that definitely worked out today, you don't ever know really what they're positioning. And so something I would encourage everyone to do is to track the open interest on some of these positions that are that larger money flow. Ultimately, that's what we're looking to do is to be able to follow the larger size when they want to come in and start putting multi-million um, to work into a specific name. And especially when you have a name that doesn't typically see size. Um, I do utilize black box stocks for all my options flow and dark flow activity. We also have the BBS open interest tracker. And what I mean by that is that you have on the options chain, um, <clears throat> existing contracts that are in open interest. So there's going to be two things, volume and open interest. Volume is the number of contracts that have traded today versus an open interest, which is your existing contracts for that strike and expiration. And if I click on the black box stocks, uh, BBS, uh, OI tracker, you can see where they position back here on 518, um, with 15,000 contracts. And then the next day that did confirm, you can see that open interest jumped from 3,700 up to just shy of 19,000. So that OI did stay and continue to stay in that chain. They did not exit. And you've got the volume bars over here showing. And while that was great, a great opportunity for those that were able to captivate on that, let's talk about a few positions that I'm seeing that may offer some opportunity for us to be able to pick up some of these positions a little bit cheaper because we still have open interest in the book. Um, for those that are with black box to be able to do this, just go to your filter um, go to options and select only options and enter a historical date range. I went from 5-1 um, to current. What I was wanting to see was if there were any larger flows catching my attention that maybe um, have pulled back. And while we did have quite a few names, um, what I did to filter out some of the noise was just look at Alpha Gold, which is going to be our stock side alert that will notify when we have larger options positioning and large bullish flow. So I'm specifically looking at these two alert types. Um, and one of the ones that caught my attention was Starbucks. And Starbucks has definitely pulled back um, <clears throat> from when they originally came in. I did go to historical. This was positioning that we had come through back on. Um, oops, probably did a little bit too big there. Um, back on 512 into the October 20th, uh, 110 calls, a lot of time here, but I want to go ahead and click and show you just that this positioning has stayed in. You can see when they originally came in, you had 7,200 contracts, you had about 6,200 confirm and open interest, and we are still carrying that open interest over, even though you've had a pullback. <clears throat> into Starbucks. So just going to show you kind of what we're looking at here. Let me actually go to the daily chart. Um, this is when they originally came in back on May the 12th. Um, you had a pullback and uh, price come down. We're now reclaimed the 200 on the daily chart. And at that time they were coming in um, positioning with some time into the 10, 20, 110 calls. You had 3.89 million behind that. 6.6 thousand contracts originally came into the book.
a lot of time here, but did want to note that Starbucks actually will be at a conference this week. They're going to be at the TD Cohen uh, Future of Consumer Conference. That's going to be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, this could be be nice opportunity for those that like to swing trade. I did also um, note that there was a little bit of additional, um, a little bit of additional uh, flow into that same line today. Um, just to give you an idea of what that looked like, that did come in um, same strike, same expiration. They're now coming in for 220 and 223. That's about a hundred thousand. Um, we're looking at about just under 500 contracts into this same line. And what I think is interesting here is when you originally had them coming in, they were around 575 on that contract pricing. Again, this did still come in and stay in the book. It ran up to six dollars that same day, and of course, that's pulled back. Um, I would encourage you to look at open interest tomorrow just to verify that these 500 contracts actually did stay in the book. So again, for those that don't have the platform, you can certainly just go to your um, options chain, your current volume today, 820 two contracts into an 8,000 OI. Essentially what you'd be looking for is that that open interest increased. <clears throat> and again, Starbucks will be at the conference tomorrow presenting at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That one has a ton of time, um, but there is another position that I thought was interesting. I've been tracking and I am currently in ZM. I don't know if you guys remember this. ZM is not a ticker that you get a ton of flow in. And if we go back to um, May 21st, 25th, sorry, May 25th, I remember it was in the afternoon. They just ran over ZM, like they could not get enough. And yellow is opening positions for us. They were coming into several strikes, several expirations with size. The underlying that day had an amazing move upside. So if you were a scalper, you were able to take advantage of that. We have kind of just stayed a little bit neutral sideways. I have some notes on my chart. So I'm going to jump over here, just to kind of show you what that looks like. Cause I have um, all of this written out. So I'm Oh, it says 526. That was actually 525. They came in to the 616s. They started with the 69 calls. There wasn't as much size there, but then they hit into the 616, 70 calls. You had about 600,000 there, 6.6 thousand contracts. The 71 calls also for 616. And guys, remember this is next week, 735,000, just shy of 7,000 contracts there, as well as the 72 calls, 700, 170,000, 7.5 thousand uh, contracts there, as well as hitting the 721, 65 calls. That was right at the money, but all of this was all on the same day. They just were like nonstop on whatever they can get their hands on. And then we did make a like little grind up, but not anything really, uh, really spectacular as far as a price move. And then here you look at where we are today, which this one held phenomenally well. Um, you had a little bit of a bump. We kind of thought maybe there was a news piece there. Couldn't really find anything. You have that volume. So here you go. You've gone up on volume. You're pulling back. Volume starting to dry up. You've got some volume coming in. I think this is definitely worth keeping on your watch list, um, especially as we go into options expiration next week. I'm just going to give you an idea here. When they originally came in, they were paying 95 cents, a dollar ten, went all the way up to a uh, dollar 33. This is the 71 calls. Um, and you can see that open interest is still in the book. You're a little bit over that pricing, but that 71 level is out of the money as well as the 72 um, could give you some nice potential for upside. I couldn't find any conferences or anything that they're currently at as far as a catalyst. Um, I just think it's worth mentioning that it just was whatever they could get their hands on. So ZM worth putting on um, watch one of the software names that hasn't necessarily made a bigger move. So again, even if you just follow the Twitter feed, or if you're a member of Black Box Stocks, I think that there's opportunities um, if something starts to move ahead of where you would like to get in. Um, sometimes when you see that options flow, they can make very quick moves. But if you're tracking that open interest and you can verify that they're still in, and again, I'm talking about watching the big money, not just, um, you know, your very heavily traded stocks, some of that stuff that you just don't typically see, you can sometimes pick that up on a pullback at a cheaper price. So a way to be able to track some of that larger flow and pick up some options on a discount. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have a good evening.